Reconciling is your way of confirming in QuickBooks that you've been entering transactions correctly according to your bank and credit card records. Reconciling your accounts in QuickBooks every month is highly recommended. You will need these monthly bank or credit card statements on hand to complete the reconciliation process. When you connect your bank and credit cards to online banking, QuickBooks automatically downloads your transactions and enters the opening balance for you. You don't need to worry about the opening balance for these types of accounts. If you're reconciling other types of accounts for the first time, review the opening balance. It needs to match the balance of your real-life bank account for whatever day you choose to start tracking the account in QuickBooks. To start reconciling your accounts in QuickBooks, click the gear icon and then under Tools, choose Reconcile. Scroll down and in the middle of this window, choose the account that you're reconciling. In general, you only need to reconcile your bank and credit card accounts. Then, on the bank or credit card statement, you'll see your beginning balance followed by your ending balance. On the bank statement, our bank tells us what figure we have in our bank account at the end of the month. Once you've entered the ending balance and ending date, click Start Reconciling. Your job in a reconciliation is to look at the bank statement or credit card statement and compare the information on that official statement to what's in QuickBooks. Every line on this reconciliation displayed right here represents a different transaction that is in QuickBooks. We have to go through these transactions, comparing them to the bank statement, making sure that they have the right details, especially the right amount and also the correct dates. If you've been using online banking, you'll find that many of the transactions in this window appear to already have a check mark next to them. This tells you that these transactions are pre-approved. They've been downloaded directly from the bank or credit card company, so QuickBooks knows that they are also going to appear on your bank statement. They'll also have an icon right here. If, however, you see any transactions that don't already have a check mark, that tells you that this transaction was manually entered by you or someone else in your company, and you have never downloaded a copy of that transaction through online banking. If you have any transactions that look like this, it's important for you to refer to your bank or credit card statement and see whether or not they appear on that statement. If they do, add a check mark. The goal of reconciliation is to reach a difference of zero. That tells you that there is zero difference between what's in QuickBooks and what's on the bank statement. If you find that you have a difference, it's usually caused by one of the manually entered transactions having the incorrect amount assigned to it, or it could be caused by an improper entering of the ending balance or ending date right here. You can always go back and change them through the Edit Info button. You can choose to reconcile even with a difference by choosing Save for Later or Finish Now. But if you choose to do this, QuickBooks will create a journal entry that forces your account to go up or down by the amount of the difference. Usually, it's best to resolve any differences in the reconciliation and not to perform this task. After confirming all the transaction details, and once you've reached a difference of zero, click Finish Now and then Done. You can look at a detailed history of your reconciliations at any time by clicking History by Account, and here QuickBooks displays all of your reconciliations divided up by year. Remember to reconcile any time you receive a bank or credit card statement. Now get started.